There's a, a film currently on uh, Sky Documentaries called Hatton. Um, it's made by Gabriel Clark's production company. I think they've done a, a really good job telling that story. How did that opportunity come about? What was your initial reaction when they reached out and what do you think of the process and the, and the final version? Yeah, when I was, um, I was approached, you know, for them to, um, you know, to do the, the documentary. And there was, there was loads of great ones, one there was on. They, 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 lately, there was one on Brian Robson, there was one on Gaza, there was one on Rooney, there was one on, you know, I mean, they, they do a fantastic job. So when they approached to do one um, on, on me, I was, I was, you know, delighted, you know what I mean? Um, and my uh, my my life has been a bit of a roller coaster, hasn't it? You know, right. it went from great great times to bad times to present day to to great times again. You know, you could um, it was more like it was more like a film than a documentary, wasn't it? You know what I mean? Seeing you know the the good times and and there were some great times. You know, the fights in Vegas and boxing at the Etihad Stadium here. Yeah, you know, that was a dream. I dreamt at first of fighting at Main Road, never got the chance, but I ended up getting the chance at the Etihad and. Fighting the people that I did, and you know, like Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao, you know, forty thousand fans went to Las Vegas to watch the uh, Floyd Mayweather fight. It's like it's unheard of, you know. Known and Liam carrying me belts in mm. for the Malinaji fight. So many good times, but um, I struggled bad with retirement. Do you know what I mean? But something I've done all my life since I was since I was you know left since I left school. Just apart from fitting a few dodgy carpets for my dad, you know, I just. Boxing, that's all I've ever done. And then when I, I got beat by um, Manny Pacquiao and I knew, right, Rick, that's you done now. There's no more boxing. You've, you you know, you, you passed it now. And then, you know, it, and then there's loads of things in my personal life at the same time came along. I fed, fell out with Billy Graham. I fell out with my mum and dad, you know, and my, my relationship had split up. And then I got destroyed by Pacquiao. And then I knew I had to retire all in a little close... I mean, life went uh, terrible, and it's uh, it was um, yeah, a bit of a tearjerker to be honest with you. All my mates went to the went to the premiere. All my mates were hey, at first, you know, taking the mickey, and then the silent, you know, and then when it finished after, they all had a tail in their eye and everything like that. But it's um, it's been a roller coaster. But I mean, good times, bad times. But they, now I'm having the best times. Mm. I mean, if I hadn't have um, if I had gone the way I want, you know, I was very suicidal. And that look, what I missed out, and I missed out on the, seeing the lad. Go professional, uh, lovely little granddaughter now, Lila. Uh, see Millie and Fern growing up into the lovely ladies of the art. Look at what I'd have, I'd have missed out on, you know. So it's, uh, and it tells it so well. Was that a big thing about you doing? Because you're big on the mental health side of things now. Was that a motivation behind it to get it out there for yeah, people absolutely. to try and to learn from? That's what I do. I'm a professional boxing trainer now, isn't it? You know, so I'm trying to bring the next ones, next ones through that will hopefully make the country as proud as I'd like to think I did. Um, but I also an ambassador for mental health because I mean, if I hadn't, if I had gone down the other road, you know, and I, you know, look what I'd have missed out for. And there is people out there that are in the same boat as I was. Do you know what I mean? Nobody knew about it. I don't think even me, 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 mm. me closest. You know, me, me partner who I was living with at the time, and I was training fighters as well. I just started becoming a boxing coach, and like you know, me, me family in general. I don't think they knew what how bad it was because I kept it to myself. When I went in public, I was like, hey, you know, crack a joke, tell a laugh. But then when I'd, I'd be at home, I'd be crying and suicidal, you know, and it was it was, it was was horrible because as a man, you don't want to feel like you can go to your missus and go, listen, love, I'm crying every day, what, kill myself, you know. You can't walk in the vault, can you? And no, go, hey, lads, can, can I share this with you? So you keep it in, and I, I don't think my family knew. And I think when that documentary came out, I think everyone went, everyone went, whoa, we didn't realise it was... But if it helps people... You know, it, it was a winner in that in that area as well. I think it hundred percent will. I mean, there's an amazing scene where you're addressing a, a group of a room full of men, and you, you you make the point if anybody's feeling like this, talk to somebody, and the, the whole room gets up. And yeah. I, uh, that's a powerful. Well, back back, powerful back thing. in the day when I had it, you know, the, if you turn around and it said mental health, everyone thinks you flip your lid. You yeah. know what I mean? They think you you know you 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 crackers. But thankfully, more and more of people are doing it because Tyson Tyson Fury's done it. You know, and I've done it. Frank Bruno's done it. I'm an ambassador for the Fran Bruno Foundation as well. So the more and more people do it, they're not, you know, if one person listens to listens to this, this podcast and goes away and says, you know what, I'm going to go and speak to someone, you can't do it on your own. Mm. You think you can, yeah. you sit, but what you do, you think you can do it on your own. So what you do, you sat there moping, sat there feeling sorry for yourself. You know, the only way you're going to do is get up off your backside and share it with someone, you know what I mean? You can't share it to your family and your mates and your close ones. 
well, share it with a stranger. You'll feel better. Yeah. Don't know if you, you can speak to a stranger, don't you? Where well, you can't, you don't want to tell anyone else. Mm. Have you learned lessons, do you think, from from your dad's journey and from mm. that film in particular? You know, the, the stuff he explored in there about the struggles he's had. Is there things you can learn, do you think, about your life and career? Yeah, definitely, because like, he's been through a lot in and out the ring where I can ask for advice on both. And um, like being in boxing myself, you are you are like... Fighters sort of feel like they've got to be be tough all the time, and not not just fighters. Just I think men in general feel like they have to put on a bit of a bit of a front and um, act like everything's fine, nothing bothers them, and that's what eats away at people. So when you hear people like my dad and Tyson Fury, like said Frank Bruno, who, who've come out and spoke about it, who are these people who, who that people consider as like hard blokes, if they can start talking about the feelings and things like that. Anyone can, can't they? So, so no, like, learn loads from uh, from him, like, inside and outside of boxing. Yeah, powerful. I mean, what about football's similar as well, isn't it? You yeah. must have felt, back in your day, what Ricky's just exactly explained the there. Exactly the same thing. It's hard yeah, to attempt something you've done you all your life. And you've got yeah. this front that you put onto everybody else as well, you mm. know, and, and thankfully there's stuff Ricky's doing and a lot of people have done some... It's it's putting it out there, isn't it? and it's getting people. When you used to walk out, you know, in front of that main road, you know, and then you hear the crowd roar coming out of that mm. tunnel and that, you know, and and then when all of a sudden, you know, you 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 got to retire, and you, you're never going you never going to feel get that feeling again. Because I the most nervous thing for me was leaving the changing room to make me ring walk to the ring. And yeah, every time I did it, I used to think, what am I doing this <laughs> for? It's the worst part. But then when it's gone, that. Fire in the belly, that adrenaline rush, that nervousness, that's the one thing you miss. And it'd been the yeah. same for you, Paul, walking out through the tunnel, isn't it? You know, yeah, the crowd roar, and as you get nearer, it gets louder and louder and louder. Yeah. Once you've had that, you know, all your life and it's gone. Some people that's... some people can retire happy and some people it puts the head away. Exactly. It certainly put my I head was away. I was super fortunate that when I finished playing I had the season as player <clears> manager at Oldham. So it kind of bridged you into... Yeah, and yeah. then obviously went to Doncaster, so I was still involved in it day to day, even mm. though I'd retired. I was super lucky. But when, when I got sacked at Donny, it, it affected me. But yet again, I was lucky that the club then came to me and said, we're going to start doing ambassadorial stuff. So the club was busy. getting bigger yeah. and bigger, so I was yeah. still getting my football fix. But that little yeah. spell from when I got sacked... But one, yeah, yeah. one is, I don't know if it's probably the same, and get beat off Pacquiao, it's, it's your ego as well. You know, I'd just been sacked. I'm thinking you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, and you want to prove <clears throat> people wrong because you've had to do that all the time. And um, but then saying, look, just super fortunate that that I was being able to have my football fix all the way through. And I, a lot of people don't. Yeah. A lot of people don't. Yeah.